Community Viewpoint. And welcome once again to Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock, your host for this segment and uh, second show of two, 2020. So we're off to a real ravenous start. So hopefully we'll be here at the end of the year too. So we're going to be taking a little trip today to the Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge. And with us today to take us there is uh, Peter Pearsall, who is the Visitor Specialist uh, Services Specialist from the Wildlife Refuge. Now tell me you've been there, folks. You've been there before. It's one of the uh, the wonders of the, the, the desert out here. And uh, Peter, tell us a little bit about the uh, um, Ash Meadows and then uh, the Junior, what is it? Junior Refuge Ranger Day. Junior Refuge, I'm a little bit too old for that, right? Oh no, it's for all ages. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Well, well tell us a little bit about it. So uh, first off, Ash Meadows is a national wildlife refuge in southern Nevada. We're known for our many springs and seeps. So mm -hmm. we have more than 50 springs and seeps that um, together put out more than 10,500 gallons of water a minute. So these springs create this sort of oasis in the desert. And we have a lot of plants and animals that live at Ash Meadows and nowhere else on Earth. And um, Junior Refuge Ranger Day is kind of our um, open house sort of event. So we have a bunch of staff and partners that come out to um, basically showcase the, the resources at the refuge. And um, we have a lot of activities for families and, mm -hmm. and for children. Um, basically, it's an introduction to your National Wildlife Refuge. And it's, a, it's, it's run by uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Mm -hmm. Death Valley uh, National Park is in there also with the yep. the pupfish. Yep, and uh, it's just a, it's a lovely place. It we have uh, some pictures, and then well, you'll be speaking about it. We'll we'll show you some of the pictures. Now this lovely place with the uh, the reeds and whatnot, and the those are, those are ducks. I take it. Those are American coots, yeah. So this is a part of the refuge that is um, a reservoir, and this photo was taken. Um, in December, I believe. So this is kind of the winter aspect of the refuge. The cattails are kind of browned and you can see some snow on the funeral range there. Okay, so we're looking uh, west in the funeral range. Right? Yes, okay. yes. Yeah, Death Valley National Park is just a, um, a little ways away from Ash Meadows. It's about an hour from the visitor center at Ash Meadows to mm -hmm. Furnace Creek in Death Valley. Yes. Now let's go look at another uh, picture. And this is fantastic because it's it, the boardwalks are perfect for people with uh, that are a wheelchair bound. Yes, correct. So our boardwalks are accessible. Um, most of them are, are short. This is Crystal Spring Boardwalk. So mm -hmm. this is um, just under a mile and it is flat uh, the entire way. And it's one of three boardwalks at the refuge. Yep. We've also got a boardwalk at Point of Rocks. Mm -hmm and at Long Street Long Spring and Cabin. Yes, I think we have a picture of that too. But the, the picture there, is, it was so clear and just so beautiful with the, the sun probably either setting or just rising over there. Just fantastic out there. It's beautiful for sure. Yes, and this is the... This is a photo from last year's Junior Refuge Ranger Day event. Okay. So there are all sorts of activities, as I mentioned. This particular activity is kind of a touch table. So. Um, Visitors are introduced to some of the, the plants and animals. Um, in this case, it's uh, plants, or I'm sorry, rather animal sort of skins and skulls and parts that mm -hmm. um, occur in our part of the desert, Mojave Desert here. Okay. Tortoise, uh, was it sheep? Bighorn sheep? Yeah, yeah. And this is another image from last year's event. This is Puddles the Blue Goose. That's the, the mascot of the National Wildlife Refuge System. And um, Puddles is seen here greeting some of the junior refuge rangers from last year's event. Now Puddles has come to uh, some uh, previous Earth Day uh, events and you said Puddles may be there this year? Yes, Puddles oh. will be there this year. Oh, cool. And this is uh, the, the entryway uh, for the uh, uh, visitor center. It's magnificent, it's beautiful. Yeah, the visitor center is state of the art. We've we've got um, year-round exhibits, so we are open 
uh, every day all all year uh, except for Christmas and Thanksgiving. So, okay. as it should be, and it's free. Um, folks are welcome to check out the exhibits. We have a video that provides an overview of the refuge, and um, and the visitor center also serves as kind of the the gateway to Crystal Spring. the The boardwalk leaves directly from the visitor center. Right, because that's right next to the uh, the boardwalk over there. You have mm -hmm. handicap parking right next to that. Yep. And it's been a while since I've been there. Well, everything is in the uh, the visitor center now because I still remember when you had the double wides, yeah. the single wides. So yeah, that, that that's going back a few years. Mm -hmm. Yes. So another picture? Do we have? What's next? Oh, that's the the junior refuge ranger of Southern. Yes, Nevada. this was the the oh, advertisement yeah. from last year. Yes. Um, so the event is, is similar to last year where we have partners like Death Valley Natural um, History Association, mm -hmm. Death Valley National Park. We have um, folks from the other refuges in the complex. So Ash Meadows is part of what's called the Desert National Wildlife Refuge Complex. There's Ash Meadows, there's Desert National Wildlife Refuge, there's Paranagat National Wildlife Refuge. Which is huge, yeah. Wapa Valley. So we have staff and partners coming from those refuges as well to help out with our event. Mm. I think you, you brought a, we out of pictures? Was that it? Okay, let's do, uh, you want to do the video now? Sure. Uh, we'll just keep the volume down and then uh, you'll give us a little commentary sure. on that. We'll keep the mics on. Thank you. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, last year's event is, um, this, this was shot during last year's event, and, and this year's event is a similar sort of template. Uh, it'll take place mostly in the visitor center, mm -hmm. and you're seeing here sort of the, the tables and the exhibits and the activities that um, <laughs> will be present during this year's event as well. Okay, Everything from that touch table that we saw earlier with the animal parts, the skins and skulls, to identifying animal tracks and uh, participants are making the tracks in the sand um, to Desert Yahtzee. This is a, a game that uh, Death Valley National Park brings out um, for participants to, to play. Mm -hmm. um, this is Go Pupfish, another game that, that Death Valley National Park staff bring out for participants. There's a fishing game. It's, it's really um, activities for all ages that serve to introduce the public to um, what the refuge has to offer mm -hmm. as far as the, the plants, the animals, the scenery, um, and, uh, and, and just to explore your local wildlife refuge. Um, we are open, like I said, year round. Um, the refuge itself is open from dawn to dusk every single day. Okay. Um, there's no entry fee associated with the refuge. Wow. So Junior Refuge Ranger Day is a great way to um, have families bring their kids out and just kind of get a feel for what is uh, available to see at the refuge. Oh, excellent. I think and I these know participants are using, <laughs> this is Corey, he's the <laughs> refuge manager. He's uh, giving a demonstration on the grinding stones. So Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge has been occupied by people for thousands of years and mm -hmm. um, there's archeological evidence of grinding stones uh, that were used to, to turn mesquite pods into flour. Oh, it's a very nutritious staple yeah. for indigenous peoples. This is a swearing-in ceremony. So after the <laughs> junior refuge rangers complete their passport, we call it, mm -hmm. where you um, get signed off for the activities you complete, you get signed in as, you get sworn in rather, as a junior refuge ranger. This is Puddles the Blue Goose, sort of fraternizing with participants. <laughs> um, Puddles makes an appearance throughout the event, uh, poses for photos. Um, just hangs out. No, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, gets into dancing competitions with Death Valley National Park staff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the event runs from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday, February 1st. Okay. It's open to all, it's free, free of charge, and you can you can drop in for an hour, you can stay for the entire event, you can stay all day long if you like. It's, uh, it's up to you. Now you just have bathroom facilities over there, you don't have any vending machines or do you? Um, no, it is, uh, we have restrooms, we have the visitor center that has um, our partner, 
Death Valley Natural History Association mm -hmm. operates a, um, a gift shop. So there is some um, sort of concessions to be had there, but, um, but that, if you, that's it, yes. No food and drink? Um, there are some snacks okay. and water and Gatorade and stuff for oh, purchase. So you do have that. Okay. In, in, yeah. the, in DVNHA's shop, yes. Okay, so there's nothing like a cafeteria or anything there, so bring your own no. food. Yeah. We have picnic areas, though. Um, yes. A picnic area at the visitor center itself, as well as at Point of Rocks. Oh, that's right. Another boardwalk area okay. on the refuge. But I know Crystal Springs is just very its beautiful. When you get to the end of that uh, boardwalk, uh, the, the, uh, where the water bubbles up there, and it, it comes up the, the different uh, turquoise colors, and it just, it's just fantastic. Yeah, that is, um, that is one of the sort of take-home images, I think, that a lot of visitors experience is the, the clarity of the water and, um, and its, its color. It is kind of this oh, it's kind of hot, color. right? It is, yes, geothermally heated. Um, it's, it's mostly warm, not necessarily hot water, but yeah. It's hot, so don't jump in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's a beautiful place to uh, visit. Uh, and there are three, one to three uh, logical ways to get in there and one illogical way. The one I'm thinking about is through Crystal. Yeah, so there are a couple <laughs> different ways to access the refuge. The most uh, popular one and the one that's the most reliable and in most weather is what we call the west entrance, which yeah. um, turns off of Highway 373 and um, puts two, you onto Spring Meadows Road. That's the one that's a uh, block north of Longstreet Casino? Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's paved for all of the block or two? Yeah. Uh, all of the roads but on it's the maintained, refuge. maintained, though. All of the roads on the refuge are gravel. Um, yeah. But yes, the west entrance road is probably the, the best one. And that's what we usually recommend visitors take. But most of us will be coming in off of Bell Vista. There are two mm -hmm. roads. Yeah. Uh, one long road and one longer to get in there from mm -hmm. the, the southern end. You would basically mm -hmm. say that is so. Yep. But yep. That uh, is the south entrance. Yep. Yes. So the best way to go is uh, through Long, uh, Long Street, uh, about a block north of Long Street. So, oh my, look at the time. We're out of time already. If you want to recap what we went through uh, today and uh, tell us about uh, when it is and what to look for. Sure, sure. So uh, just to recap, Junior Refuge Ranger Day is Saturday, February 1st, and it's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., mm -hmm. And it's open to all ages. We welcome families, children, really anyone who wants to come out to the refuge that day. And um, Ash Meadows Refuge is just about uh, 40 to 50 minutes away from Pahrump. Mm -hmm. It's about an hour and a half northwest of Las Vegas. And we are open all year, um, every day, dawn to dusk. The visitor center is open most days of the year, except Thanksgiving and Christmas. So come on out to the refuge. and. Um, We've got the events on Saturday, February 1st. Hope to see you there. Yes. Thank you, uh, Peter, for taking the time to uh, talk to us about this. And sure. Uh, if you haven't gone out there, folks, please uh, go, out, go out of your way to get out there sooner than later because it's a really a beautiful uh, place to uh, enjoy the, the desert. It's not the desert out there because it's all the, uh, the water that's out there. You wouldn't believe it. So I, I, I wouldn't believe it until I saw it. Bye. <laughs>